Right, what have we got? Well, I've narrowed it down to three. Near the Pete's mind. No, near the Pete's. And we're not going up the rubbish channels either. BBC Nine and all that shite. That's the wrong end of town. <laughs> and I'm not watching Gobblebox. <laughs> Gobblebox? What did I say? Gobblebox! <laughs> I'd just be a pile of people sitting around watching porno movies. <laughs> right, so the front runner is a, a Mile in My Shoes, a doc. Uh, the trials and tribulations of two men swapping their lives for a period of time. One's a chairman of a big company, and the other guy's a bampot. That sounds brutal. Socially experimenting on people. That's Mengele Pish. Aye. Camera crew. Right, come here. Filming him. Boy's making an arse at We're sitting at home, hee-hawing and laughing at the poor bastard's misery. It's definitely not right. That's bad form. You want to watch it? I get it on. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you and I swapped twosies, Victor. Well, I'd come to you on a Tuesday and you'd come to me on a Wednesday. Ah, as opposed to me coming to you on a Tuesday and you coming to me on a Wednesday. Yeah. I would, however, be worried about my chip pan if you were living in my house. How so? Well, I'd be lying in my bed, well, actually, your bed, eyes staring at my head, worried sick that you'd be rummaging about my kitchen drunk on my drink, looking for things to deep fry in my chip pan. And why not? I'd be hungry. But I'd be bitterly disappointed because you've not got anything in your cupboards except tins. So then I'd be arsing about with your shonky can opener, trying to wheedle the spam out of the tin and into your fryer. There it is right there, Jack, eh? Frying spam in the dead of night, three sheets to the wind, eh? Oh, I know what I'll do. That spam will take a wee while to cook through. I'll just have a wee snooze in the couch here because I'm leathered. Oh, I know what this is. This is a chip pan fire scenario, isn't it? Yes. First the handle, puddle of black plastic. Then my curtains, boof, the whole kitchen ablaze. The guy upstairs going half his nut, wondering where all the heat's coming from. And me, at my age, up umpteen flares on a, on a fireman's ladder trying to get out of the building. <laughs> that wouldn't bother me. How? Because my worries would be over. I'd be burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> my lucky you, eh? Ah, well, that's a result. Oh. What? I've got chips on! <laughs> Enjoy your roll. Yeah, thanks, Lord. Oh. Please, Isa, join us. Oh. What can I get you? Oh, nothing for me. Just a tea hen. I'm watching my way. I'll oh, have a wee roll, a sausage and a pan egg on it, a wee bit of bacon. <laughs> What's that you've got, Victor? Rolling black pudding. Yeah, a wee bit of black pudding and all, and it's like a tatty scone in the tap. Yeah. Do you want beans and all? No. <laughs> oh, I my mean, baby fought for me. Right. Oh, eh, Sinead, congratulations on your one year anniversary. That's flew in. How did you know? I just seen wee Fergie across the road. He's buying you something nice. Of course, I'll no see what it is. Flowers. You know, that's remarkable, Isa. You managed to order the whole world on a roll and keep a secret for 52 whole seconds. Shut up. A wee slice of tomato, no, hen. Tomato. Can I get that to go? Aye, no bother. We've got a wheelbarrow out the back. <laughs> eh? Nothing. All right, team. Ah, oh, Fergie. Happy anniversary, son. Flowers. All right, doll. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Oh, they're lovely. I'll get you some aftershave. What were you then spending all that money? Calvin Klein? No, it was only six quid. Calvin Klein. Thanks. Fire is up our own scrambled egg, will you? <coughs> you doing anything special tonight? We're going to get a KFC. Fitting. I'm not quite across what all the anniversary years are. I know 50's golden and 40's ruby, so one year must be chicken. No, you the first year's paper. Which a KFC is wrapped in. That was my thinking. Yeah. What's the matter? Uh, no, nothing. Here you. That's enough of that. What? Look at that lassie. What lassie? That lassie. What, her? That lassie that just came in there, in the two-piece suit, sat down at the window with the flattering light on her. Aye. I wasn't looking at her. 
Dur. You like to work, can't you? Fergie. Well, she's happy enough for her flowers. <laughs> Enjoy your roll. Isa, you want to hand out the door with that? <laughs> Where did you get the flowers? Across the road. At least you didn't get them out of the garage, like a lazy bastard. I got them out of the garage across the road. A lazy bastard. <laughs> Hi, Isaac. What be sin? Well, Navid, forty year. Congratulations. That is some shift. Thank you, Bobby. I thought, how do you mark it? You get something back. So I've rolled back the prices to 1976. Excellent. I'll take two dozen bottles of scotch and all your fags. Scotch is also exempt. Why's that? Because I never had time to phone customs and excise to inform them that some foxy shop in Craig Lang was having a rollback experience. Fair enough. Back at a night, thanks, son. 55 pence. That always 55 pence. Where is my 1976 rollback? My shop opened in 1976. Knickknacks were launched in 1981. <laughs> They're also exempt from the rollback bonanza. Fine. <laughs> Chupa Pringles. Pringles have been around for donkeys. I'm afraid you are the donkey here, Bobby. <laughs> Pringles, the taste sensation, burst onto the snack scene in 1967. Good. Get them beat. But that was in the US. In the UK, they were launched in 1991. Exempt. Have you actually got anything for 1976 that costs what it costs in 1976, Navid? Of course. This shop is a treasure trove of savings today. You, uh, just need to find them. Ready? <laughs> Warm. Warm. Hot. Hot. Roasting. Cold again. <laughs> Bleach! Ya dick. <laughs> well done. Sale of the century. The price is right. Bleach. Okie dokie then. Today's price, 35 pence. 1976 rollback bonanza price, 34 pence. Ah, Neil, what booby. Thanks for playing. Have you enjoyed your time with us? Oh, for the look of her. Unbelievable bloody bleach. I don't even need bleach. You don't need bleach? <laughs> I smell the toilets in the Klansman. <laughs> well, I'm a busy man, Navid. I don't need this garbage. <laughs> How are you busy? I've got the brewers coming in the day. I've got barrels to change. I've got a cellar to clean. I've got stock take. It's all right for you, eh? You've got a cushy. Cushy? You've got your missus doing all your heavy lifting. You've got Isa cleaning the place for you, sweating like Susan Boyle in a cake show. <laughs> well, you, sitting your wee throne, watching Loose Woman. Cushy. Cheeky bastard. There's nothing cushy about my job. I know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eric, Jack, Victor. Hey, Fergie. Have you got a minute? Lager, please, Bobby. What do you want, Fergie? It's delicate. Uh huh. It's a boot. Marriage and that. And I want to ask you guys advice. On marriage? No, no, you're talking to two old fellas from a different era. I mean, I was <laughs> I was married at 21, for God's sake. I need you. A young dafty. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, 21. Stupid doolally bastard. I got married at 21. What did you, son? Carry on. I see you two as the ancients. Well, I'm not sure I like that, ancients. No, the elder statesmen, the wise men. Go on. It's just, see my marriage. I'm not saying it's no good, but a lot of time's passed. A year's a long time. <laughs> right enough, I. You must be sick of the sight of one another. <laughs> the old 12-month itch. <laughs> Is this because you were ogling at that lassie in the cafe the other day? I've not done nothing. Good. It's just... 
when I married Sinead, I hadn't really been with anybody else. She's beautiful and all that. I just feel I jumped in a bit quick. Right, let me stop you right there, Fergie. Temptation is the trial of every red-blooded man. Marriage is like a fine old classic car. If you leave it lying, well, it goes rusty. And then when you're wanting inside it, you try to get your key in, it'll no start. <laughs> you get me? So, if you've got a classic car, make sure you're always polishing the bonnet. I have been polishing the bonnet. Aye, but now you're wanting to polish this other lassie's headlights. Eh? You see, Fergie, your modern women have all these new needs, you know, fresh demands. Like the Clyde Taurus. <laughs> oh, don't get embarrassed, Fergie. Victor's right. Today it's all about the Clyde Tauruses and making a real effort to reach your women's G-plan. G-spot, Jack. G-spot, isn't that's a G-plan. That's furniture. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, when you have located uh, the G-spot... Listen, guys. That'll do me. That's plenty. No, give us a minute. We know what we're talking about. You've seen Kayleigh. She's beautiful, man. What would you do? Oh, I'll tell you what I'd do. Carpe diem. Carpe diem? Carpe diem, Fergie. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. <laughs> Too like it, Bobby. What does carpe diem mean, Jack? Carpe diem. It's Latin, sure. It means do the right thing. Toe the line. Behave yourself. Oh, stick with the missus. Straighten up and fly right. Carpe diem. Have you got 50 pence for a cup of tea, mate? Mick! Oh, Fergie, it's yourself. Aye! Here, Mick, you're good wee words in that, ain't you? It's been suggested that my loquaciousness is legendary. <laughs> Aye, well, have you heard the phrase... Carpe diem? Yes. What about it? What does it mean? It's a Latin aphorism. Taken from book one, a Roman poet Horace work odes for 23 BC, which I don't know where. I reckon it's later. Aye. Later. But what does it mean? Seize the day. As in the get it done. Don't leave it hanging till it gets minging. <laughs> Seize the day. Wow. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Victor. Seize the day. Here I come to see the king. what can I get you? You get me an apology. Make it a large one. Apologise? For what? All that gushy crack in the shop. What about it? Let me take you back 40 years to when I started my gushy V shop. I was the only dark face in all of Craig Lang. Every time I put my shutters up, somebody put my windows in. Every time I shut my shop at night, somebody broke in. Chucking out alcoholics, patting down shoplifters, battling neds, dodging boys with blades. It was a war zone. And meanwhile, what were you doing, huh? Oh, would you like a piece of ice in your Campari and soda? <laughs> oh, salted or dry roasted? So what are you getting at? I'll tell you what I'm getting at. I could do your job standing on my heat, but you wouldn't last 10 minutes in my place. So apologize, or walk a mile in my shoes. The thing is, Naveed, sometimes I just open my mouth and I let my belly rumble. I've upset you, and for that, I'm sorry. Well, good. I accept. So you are way back to your cushy wee sweetie show. <laughs> Bastard! Oh, Jesus! Two grown men fighting. Well, one grown man and another one with learning difficulties. You know what I mean? That's enough. I get that right, Bob. You're saying that the reed's job's easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right. Lemon squeezy, huh? I'll squeeze your neck. Sell down, sell down. And you're saying the reed, the Bobby's job's easier. Easier? Peasier? Lemon squeezier? <laughs> Right, well, there's only one way to solve this.
Well, we better hurry about parts to you. Service, please. Give a minute. I'm in the cellar changing a bloody barrel. <laughs> Is that a beat voice? It's magic, and already. First one that runs greeting to the other loses. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Oh, it's a good time to be alive. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Bob Hope and Bing Crosby. <laughs> well, what do you say to that, Bing? Give us a couple of drinks. Bob, 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 Bob. Two pints, prick. What did you say to me? Two pints. After that. Prick. I'm a prick. You come in here all puffed up and you call me a male appendage? A sexual organ? A dirty, filthy, stinking, unwashed phallus? Hold on, Marie. This isn't how it works. You're not many. No, we, we normally come in here. Yes, and... you come in and humiliate a man in the foulest sense in front of the community. Not on my watch, you cheeky bankers. Oh, well, well, sorry. sorry. About that. What do you want? Uh, two pints of lager and. Uh... Bag of salt and vinegar, Chris, please, and read. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar. Isa, jump down to the cellar, get a box of salt and vinegar, Chris, will you? I don't work for you in here, Navid. I work for you in the shop. A large whiskey, please, Navid. Am I having a stroke? Don't speak. Don't ask. Here you go. What's that? It's a whisky. <clears throat> no, I asked for a large whisky. Aye, but uh, that'll do. <laughs> Look, there's not even enough in there to clean my specs. Get another one in there. No. What? I've known you for many years, and you only have two moods. Despondency or rage. I believe the reason for this is that you are constantly nursing a hangover. And that's why I want a large whisky, because I've got a hangover. I'm trying to save you from the endless roundabout of misery. OK. I'll be the first to admit that I do drink a wee bit too much. And I suppose I'm on a bit of a roundabout. Look, look you just get me a large whisky in there right now before I say something I regret. Say it. I want Bobby back. <laughs> <laughs> That's my crisps. Isa. It's my day off, Navid. I'm getting pissed. No one has shift your no. <laughs> Mina, if you want to be with Navid over at the Klansman, feel free. Stone deed in here. I'm going to shoot you around, Jelena. Just take the afternoon. I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what are you doing? I'm Doctor Who. We're going back in time. Doogle <laughs> doo, doogle doo, doogle doogle doo. <laughs> Winston. Keep an eye there. Tell me when Davros is coming out for the back show. <laughs> a bit of service here, please, Navid. Certainly, Dan. What can I get you? Uh, a cheese toasty, a quantro, and uh, a packet of scampi fries, please. Toasty, quantro, scampi fries. Uh, 28 pence, please. <laughs> Couple of minutes for your toasty. Oh, I don't mind waiting a feed. No. I like my cheese well melted. Sometimes, you know, I think my brain has melted. I mean, 
What was I thinking? Coming around here to run a pub. I don't know the cost of anything in a licensed public house. I'm just a daft Muslim who runs a corner shop. Oh, there's your toasty. <laughs> Sir, 28 pence, please. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot. Uh, what do you want in your Quantro? It has to be dash of lemonade, please. So that's uh, 28 pence for the drink, the snack, and the toasty. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> £4.12 for the dash. You think my heat button's up the back? Chance, sir. <laughs> Terrible, I'm oh, yeah. I'm sitting there, only I hear married and look at him. Poor Sinead. I thought that boy had his head screwed on. I don't know where to get such an idea. Sweet sharing of it. How you doing? You's good, eh? How you doing? What are you doing? Eh? <laughs> Just doing what you tell me, Eddie. What did we tell you, Eddie? See the day. I never said that. What did I say? Carpe diem. That's right. Seize the day. No, that's not what it means. It means do the right thing. Toe the line. Behave yourself. Winston, what's your understanding of the term carpe diem? Seize the day. Act immediately. Now is the moment. <laughs> it means get our knickers off. <laughs> Scantium paldinium. Panties remove us. Oh. oh. to Lager, please. What do you do with the two that are giddy? I drank them. And you're wanting another two already? <laughs> Give it another half hour, I'll consider it. Uh, <clears throat> stick another Goldie in there, Navid. Not for another 12 minutes, you red faced, inebriate bastard. <laughs> Tell me, listen to me. You're a married man. Calm down. I'm just sitting with a lassie having a juice. It's all very innocent. Fergie, I thought it'd be nice to ask my parents to join us. Mum, Dad. This is Fergie, my new boyfriend. <laughs> Fergie! You filthy wee pig! Sinead! <laughs> Carpy dum dums. <laughs> <laughs> Mugged by a couple of kids. How embarrassing. Still, nobody's seen it. Nobody needs to know. I didn't think I'd say anything about it. And I thought I'd be back to my friend. Well, it's a simple question. What was the question again? I asked you who that lassie was that came in when I kissed you. Well, that lassie that came in there, then Mark Stewart. Who was that? Jack? Victor? Winston? <laughs> Tom? Eric? Navid? The lassie is Sinead. Fergie's wife. The wee creeps married. You snake! Right, you! You wee shit! Look okay, here, see, you're getting the night. It's GBH. <laughs> Can you be quiet, please? Be quiet! Thank you. Right, Isa, will you tell us what you saw? Aye, well, there's things I saw, but I heard much more. Mary Shaw that works in the laundromat. He's no Mary. She's just left her man cos he was stealing knickers off washing lines. I know. Anyhow, she said that Fergie and Kayleigh have been getting right pally these last few days. I heard that and all. I knew you two'd be in here. I've not done anything. Shut up. You'll get your say. 
Thanks very much, Isa. Now be quiet. What do you think she means by Pally? Pally? I'll tell you what she means by Pally. You doing the dirty with my man. Oh, well, maybe if you paid attention to him, he wouldn't be sniffing rid of me. Shut up! Every one of you! Two minutes I'm down there changing a barrel, and I come up to what? I'm a bastard, Gaddon! <laughs> You've got 30 seconds to take this low order, scum sucking, gutter sniping, redneck, Jeremy Kyle behavior out of my pub! Listen, Sinead, I don't have any idea he was married. Really? Really? But the main thing is, nothing happened. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see what was out there. Fair game. Maybe we did get married too young. Go and see what's out there. Paint a lager, please. Uh, aye. Uh, we'll take two lager. And uh, I's all have a sherry. No, I'm not selling you any mere alcohol. What's your problem? <laughs> you stand in that shop of yours and you serve booze all day. Aye. But you go back to your rat's nest and consume it. But in here, I have to witness it. It is like Sodom and Gomorrah with crisps. You win. I want my pub back. <laughs> oh, this is a great day. You want your pub back because my cushy V number isn't cushy at all, right? Right. See it. See what? Naveed. Your shop is no cushy. <laughs> Your shop is no cushy. Yes! Ivan! Champion! Damn right it's not cushy. But this pub? This pub is crazy cushy. Piece of piss. Bobby? Kiss my arm! <laughs> I deserved that. Oh, love's young dream. Hey, lad. <laughs> Used to patch things up, aye? Aye. After an appropriate amount of grovelling, six days. Aye, and two weeks in Santa Fonza. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's good you've sorted it out, eh? Que sera, sera. What does that mean? Oh, it's a Latin phrase. It means, uh... Shut up, Jack. Oh. <laughs> 